Hey guys, Motobike82 here, back to show some more plunder that I have acquired uh, over the last mm, couple weeks, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start off by showing the uh, used stuff first, and then getting into all the newer stuff. But uh, playing in the background, Convent, Puritan Masochism, really awesome uh, Doom Death out of Denmark. Definitely recommend checking this one out. So yeah, starting with the used stuff, went to Half Price Books. Um, picked up a DVD this time around. That's uh, Beauty and Darkness, Volume 5. Um, just a music video compilation DVD. I actually really kind of like these things. Plus, you know, it, it allows me to see music videos that I hadn't seen before. And uh, sometimes learn new bands, too. Because, I mean, a lot of these bands I already know. Like, In Flames, Nevermore, Amorphous, uh, Crematory stuff. But there's also quite a bit on here that I've never even heard before. So it'll be cool to check out. And then this one, the band name sounded familiar to me. And I checked it out. Um, it's pretty decent. Uh, hard Rock from back in, what, 2012? Um, that's Surrender the Fall, Burn in the Spotlight. Um, yeah, the cover and the uh, logo just kind of caught my eye, so I decided to check it out. It was rather cheap, so not bad. And we have Tyrant's Blood into the Kingdom of Graves. Um, yeah, Black Metal out of Canada. I believe I got another album of theirs from uh, my Metalhead box one time, so had to pick that one up. And then the last one... Um, I'd seen this in there like countless times and just, you know, considering I already had it, I didn't really bother to pick it up. But for some reason, I decided to pick it up anyway, and I'm really glad I did because this is only five bucks. That's Traders with Night Terrors. And uh, this is actually the original pressing, self released by the band. It was reissued by uh, Chug Corp, but this is the one the band themselves put out. So for five bucks, I couldn't pass it up. All right, moving on to the tapes uh, in the newer pile here. First two came from the same band. Uh, I actually just recently reviewed their debut EP, and that is uh, Expunged with Promo 2019 and Dark Age Crusade Promo. And uh, I got to say, these are as DIY as you can get. They printed out the inlays themselves and uh, just kind of wrote on the tapes what they were, one-sided, but still, yeah, absolutely killer death metal from Canada. Recommended for sure. And I also picked up a couple buttons from them. Got this huge ass logo button, as well as a uh, little skull and logo button as well. So not too shabby. So now I have all of their uh, recorded material. Got. Uh, this one and the next one from Goat Throne Records. They had the uh, Vivisect EP on cassette, so I had to pick that up. I just recently reviewed this as well, so now I have it on CD and cassette. Uh, the cassette, I believe, is limited to 100 copies, so I was really glad to finally get a copy of it. Uh, this one was a total blind buy. I listened to a little bit um, that they posted as a sample, and it sounded pretty decent. This is the debut demo from a band called Deconsecration. Pretty cool cover there. Sorry, I'm trying to fight the glare here. Ew, terrible glare. There we go. Again, comes on a nice red tape. Yeah, really looking forward to uh, checking that one out even further. And then the last tape is uh, going to lead into the CDs because the first two CDs are also from this band, and that is the band Haunted with their self-titled uh, EP released back in, I want to say 1990, 1992. And uh, this is actually the original press, and they still had copies of this, so I had to pick this up. And, of course, had to get the shirt because I absolutely love the artwork from it. And, as I said, I picked up both of their CDs that they had available. This is uh, Book One, The Legions of Malevolence. Uh, really good death metal based out of Florida. Uh, I listened to this one, and um, I don't know. I am I like it all right, but I'm not quite sure if I like it as much as the uh, early stuff that was on, like, this. And uh, they also had another one called Sinister Spawnings, which is uh, essentially 
the uh, EP as well as an unreleased uh, album, or actually it's an unreleased demo entitled Book of Flames from back in 1998. It was recorded but never released, so haven't had a chance to listen to this one just yet. Next up, I have the cassette of this. Had to get the CD because, you know, first and foremost, I am a CD person. This is Molder with Vanished Cadavers. Uh, newest release from these guys. Going to be doing a review of it. Hopefully in the near future. Got a huge list of stuff that I want to review, so I'm kind of slowly chipping away at it. Also picked up the new Defeated Sanity, the Sanguinary Impetus. Uh, pretty cool cover there. Uh, yeah, like again, sorry, really fighting the glare in here. I'm still learning in this new <laughs> recording location. I've listened to this a couple times. Really solid stuff. I really dig the vocalist. He really reminds me of um, Broken Hope, you know, Joe Tychek, who, uh, rest in peace. Uh, I really dig his vocals, and uh, this guy has a lot of similarities to him, in my opinion. And lastly, uh, kind of a blind buy. I was going through the new releases on Amazon, and I saw this. Thought the cover looked really cool. Loved the logo, and I uh, read a little bit about this album, and uh, checked out a song or two. Thought it sounded good, so I picked it up. This is Disabled with the final exclamation. Again, really badass cover. And essentially, what this is is just a um, lost four-track release that they had recorded but uh, apparently had never put out and they finally decided to put it out as like their last hurrah or whatever because this band is no longer together if I remember correctly so recorded in 96 finally released in 2020 uh, definitely check it out some really solid death metal in my opinion so yeah that is going to do it thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and until next time stay brutal